Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vault Blitz universe. You're watching Vault Blitz Addict. And today we're going to talk about Löwe. Löwe is the German heavy tank, uh, turret premium, which is a great machine. Uh, why is it so? It's nice for side scraping because he has a, such a wide tracks. Uh, which give you an extra armor on the sides. Uh, it has nice turret, nice upper glazes, a bit uh, thinner lower glazes, but still can uh, do such good uh, for the team. Um, what about uh, this tank in general? Uh, many people take him uh, for the first premium, and that's why... Uh, for many of you, uh, this tank looks a bit uh, weak because not uh, best players uh, just play him. But if you play when played correctly, it can uh, change the uh, the battle. Uh, let's see about the parameters. Uh, okay, uh, so as you can see you have the uh, turret armor in front uh, 120 millimeters uh, the sides of uh, turret are 80 millimeters and the rear is also 80 millimeters uh, the hull armor is 150 but it's the only the upper upper plate the lower plate is uh, as i remember 120 uh, 80 uh, on the sides and 80 on the rear um, View range uh, using optics is 282.5 meters, and for a heavy tank, it's uh, quite nice. Um, what else? Okay, damage uh, per minute. Uh, I'm using calibrated shells, so DPM on this tank is uh, just about 2k uh, per minute. Reload time is 9.5. Average penetration uh, using calibrated shells, it's uh, 260, uh, 246 on uh, AP, uh, 309 on APCR, and 66 on HE. Average damage is uh, 40, 310 on AP, 260 on APCR, and 420 on HE. Aiming time is 4 seconds. Uh, dispersion is uh, phenomenal and it's under 0 0.3 it's exactly a 0 0.299 uh, it's a great sniper tank uh, you can really uh, use it as a sniper tank and I will show you this later in my video uh, gun depression and elevation elevation is 17 degrees which isn't great but it's uh, it's quite nice Depression is 8 degrees, so you can uh, use it uh, on the hills, uh, use it on the edges of, uh, of uh, the crests and uh, on the steep terrain uh, quite nicely. Maneuverability, it's not very fast tank, but it's a heavy tank with nice armor, nice guns, so you just can't have it all. But it's not that slow, it uh, goes uh, 35 kilometers uh, forward, uh, 15 kilometers backwards, uh, average speed is 21, uh, weight is phenomenal, it's like almost uh, super heavy, uh, it weighs over 92 tons, which uh, as you can uh, think it's uh, very nice for ramming so if you if you're uh, on the higher ground and you can see the separated enemy on the lower ground you can easily ram it and uh, give uh, just enormous uh, damage turret traverse speed is 26.51 hull traverse speed is 36.45 uh, but i think i'm using uh uh, I think I'm using uh, the uh, equipment for for better hull traverse, uh, but I'm gonna go, gonna check it and show it to you. Uh, terrain crossing uh, isn't isn't uh, perfect, but it's it's quite nice. Okay, uh, let's go.
to the consumables. As for consumables, it's my standard consumables, as you can see, uh, multi-purpose restoration pack, uh, adrenaline and repair kit. As it comes for provisions, it's uh, chocolate, uh, protective kit and uh, cho chocolate bar. Uh, you can use uh, um, improved fuel, um, but I use protective kit because uh, as a German tank, it's uh, well known to be set on fire. It's not quite often, but uh, I use it. Okay, uh, as for ammunition, mainly AP because uh, liver has phenomenal penetration values, as you can see. Um, so I use ma mostly AP, 28 rounds of AP, 6 rounds of APCR for harder targets like uh, motion or heavily armored uh, vehicles, uh, 6 rounds of high explosive just to uh, decap base or uh, shoot at low uh, armor targets. As it goes for equipment, uh, like I said, I use calibrated shells, uh, I use uh, supercharge to sp boost up the speed of uh, velocity of the shell, and I use vertical stabilizer. If you gonna snipe with this tank, because it's a nice sniping tank, it's more of a support tank than a frontline tank, in general, uh, you can uh, use refined gun. So you can, as you can see, the dispersion is even better. Uh, but I prefer vertical stabilizer. Uh, it goes well even with the vertical stabilizer. Okay, as it comes for the vita vitality, uh, I use defense system. Uh, you can uh, use uh, improved modules if you want to ram, but this uh, this uh, tank is a bit slow. So ramming is occasionally, uh, but defense system, I use it. If you like, if you prefer improved modules, you can use it also. As all heavily armored vehicles, I use enhanced armor to get the boost of four percent to my armor. Uh, I use toolbox uh, to get my uh, repair boost. Uh, I use optics as usual. I use improved control as I told you the traverse speed is better with the improved control I don't even use the last consumable, but I will uh, recommend uh, the high-end consumables to uh, Give a little boost uh, to the um, Duration of your adrenaline Okay, uh, I told you about the accuracy of the gun, and uh, here will, I, I will show you how accurate it really is. Uh, I want to thanks, uh, say thanks to my uh, friends and clanmates Spartan 1980 and uh, Bang Bang Boom, uh, who may spend the time uh, to, to let me uh, prepare this footage for you. So we're going a bit further uh, to to make a distance even greater, and as you can see, even from uh, 430 meters, we can easily uh, shoot uh, the targets, and all the all the shells are going straight to the target. Not all of them uh, can penetrate, of course, but all of them are going straight into the target okay uh, so here's the gameplay I wanted to show you this gameplay because uh, of the uh, abilities of this tank to side scrape to bounce shots uh, and to show you how good this gun is even with you snapshot on the run like you will see in a moment you can hit targets pretty easily uh, and and this gives you way more opportunities to to shoot. I wasn't expecting him there, but there he was. So, yeah, my, my snapshot. And here is the the bouncing part. So you can see how effect, effectively you can side scrape and bounce. So... Uh, 
during this battle, so you can watch the battle, but still I want to summarize this tank. Uh, so to summarize, you can use it as a sniper tank, you can use it as a frontline tank, as I use it here, but uh, it's, it's not a uh, particularly uh, frontline tank. But you can use it as, that way as I use it here, uh, so it's possible. Uh, also, uh, what I want to, uh, to tell you, uh, it has a beautiful gun, a very accurate gun with very low dispersion, so uh, you can use it as a sniper. Um, and mainly, uh, you should use it as a support tank, so you're standing on the second line, uh, and keeping your keeping uh, your um, enemies uh, in in one place so they can't push on you. As you can see, we we mainly bouncing shots. Some went in, but you just simply cannot uh, bounce all of them. But you can, as you can see, you can uh, bounce a lot of them. Uh, like I bounced almost twice of my hit points, so uh, it, it's a nice, nice uh, tank with nice armor profile. Um, I would show you the armor profile, but uh, something was wrong with, with the replay uh, that we created with my friend Spartan. Uh, from the uh, w which you could see from the in the uh, other part uh, but uh, Well, no, what what I can say I, I will try to show it to you next time until then uh, let's watch the replay uh, and After the replay it's gonna be the end so nice uh, it was nice to see you again and hope you enjoyed my videos uh remember to subscribe and see you on the battlefield